All right, so what we are going to be doing today is factoring by grouping. So let's take a look at the first one. What we wanna do first is separate the idea that we have two separate parts to it. We are going to divide it right here. Now, just like what we have been doing with factoring of two terms, where I factor out something in common, that's the same thing we're gonna do up here. So what is something that we have in common up here? They're both divisible by eight. So I could pull out an eight, right? So I write 24 divided by eight is three x cubed, and then eight divided by eight is one. But what else do they have in common? They have x's in common. So we're also gonna pull those out. They both have two x's in common. So let's pull two x's in common. Awesome. So now let's do the other side. What does 12x and four have in common? They're both divisible by four. So let's write a plus sign up here. And I am going to pull out a four. So 12 divided by four is three. I'm going to leave it x, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So let's just bring that down over here. Now, if you notice something, they are the same. That is going to always be the goal. So now that we know we did it correctly because they're both the same, what we're going to do is we are going to combine our outside ones as one, so that would be 8x squared plus four. And we're going to write only once our ones that are the same. We're going to have it not adding each other. We already included the adding over here. And that's it. This is our answer. And it bleeded everywhere, but we're all good. Okay, let's try it again. Again, we're going to separate it down here. What does x cubed plus 7x have in common? They both have x's. So let's factor out those two x's. And that's it. This is all that they, it can factor. Let's try on the other side. What do they both have in common? 2x plus 14. They're both divisible by 2. So let's pull out a 2. So 2 divided by 2 would be 1. So I'm just going to leave with an x. Plus 14 divided by 2, 7. What do you know? We have our same ones there. And we are going to write now our answer. x squared plus 2 because it's a positive. And our common one, x plus 7. Last one. All right. So what we want to do is make sure that they, both of them are going to end up with the same uh, middle ground, our same number up here, our same equation, our same um, factor. So what are these numbers? So if I remember, I divide it right here. What are they both divisible by? They're both divisible by 3. So let's pull out a 3. They're both divisible by three. So let's pull out a three, and here we have seven x cubed minus three x squared. What else do they have in common? X's. So let's pull out those X's. And that's it. Let's take a look at the other side. 56x and positive 24. This one could be tricky, but if you think a little bit, what are they both divisible by that we would also get seven and three? Eight. So I'm going to pull out an eight. So seven x plus three. Now, if you notice something, 
they're not both positive or see so what i'm going to want to do is also take out a negative oh sorry this had a negative 56 so i had to put that there so i also have to take out a negative so i'm going to pull out a negative and it will be the same now and this is our answer That's it.